Hello everyone, this is Bernice from The Nappy Mouse, and in today's video, I want to show you how to make these adorable tags that I am calling XOXO tags. They do, um, it's pretty uh, small, it's, it is, what, I'm sorry, um, the size is a three and a fourth by five and a half. And they do come with a little secret compartment in the back, so you can add a little treat, or you can add a little secret love note, or hey, why not both? Um, you can also make this uh, for a present, so you can tie this, instead of using a bow, you can tie this instead for the present, or even hang it on the side of a gift bag. So if you're interested in joining me in making these, let's go ahead and let's get crafting. I just been using this uh, for a while and it has this uh, um, cards that you can cut out and also the back of this does have uh, a sheet um, that you can use so <clears throat> this one makes it pretty versatile to use because they are double-sided okay but use what's in your stash and because we're working with the Valentine's theme we're gonna create this okay we're gonna be using that Second thing you'll need is some ribbon. So I'm using uh, this ribbon here, and I'll have some of this sold on my shop. I'm selling it as uh, two yards a piece. And then you'll need some eyelash trim, which, oh, I'm sorry, this is 12 inches, okay? This eyelash trim is 24 inches, and I will have this um, together as um a package this one here is uh, you also need a 12 inch twine so this one is here is from night and bow which i still have it in my shop so i'll have that link down below um if you want to use the the 3d foam squares um we'll use that one here's a tape runner or if you want to use regular uh glue go ahead and use that some treats of course and some embellishments as well um if you have buttons or lace or anything else around your stash go ahead and get them because we can mix and match those and use it for this project okay so let me get my stuff here oh i'm sorry You'll also need a trimmer, a scoreboard, a hole punch, and of course, any embellishments that you want, okay? So let me go ahead and set this aside. And the first thing that you're going to do is, I've already chosen this, so I'm gonna use this sheet of paper. And what's great, yes, it is front and back, and I haven't used the sheet of paper or this style as well. Now, I have, they do come in two, uh sheets per design so i already cut one of them up and i did it as a fussy cut and i'll have that um i showed you before in another video where i would take an actual collection and i would fussy cut it to make extra die cuts for for me or or um little embellishment or add to tags and and things like that so i'll have that link um down below but what we're going to do is cut off the marketing strip here. Now, I tend to measure from the 12 inch side because the manufacturer can get a little bit uh, generous with the paper. And so that's why if you cut it on the line, it may be off. Not that it's going to matter too much, but it's just best to just to, to stay in that um, habit. And also they do have a little strip here. Uh, and that's just to say that's just to show what the other side looks like now i save these for now because you can use them for example as washi tape or uh little and add-ons to your designs so yes there you go okay now let me get my instructions here so the first thing that you're going to do we're going to create two of them okay and this will give you two uh two envelope or two tags and plus a little card two little cards that you can actually uh, put inside and um, because they're double-sided they're more versatile and you can make it look different different while still creating the same um, tag or having the same instruction I hope that makes sense okay first thing that we're going to do is we're going to cut this at four inches two times Okay. 
Okay. I keep this as much as possible. Save these two. Set these two aside because these are going to be your tags. And then for this one, what we're going to do is we're going to um, turn this to the 12 inch side and cut this at six. Okay, and then we're gonna fold this in half. These are going to be our cards. Now, don't worry if it's a little, um, you know, if it's off to the side like this. What I'll do is two things. We can actually have the card open up this, uh, the landscape side, or we can actually have the cards um, open up the portrait side. And what I mean is like one is long and one is, uh, uh, wider okay so we'll set these aside for now okay now we're going to take our um, tags here and at the four inch side what you'll do is you're going to score at there's my bone folder can you see that we're going to score at half an inch and then three and a half inches on to each of them okay and then turn it to the 12 inch side and you're going to cut it at, well, you're going to cut two inches from uh, one end. I'm putting it at 10 inch. Now save these because you can actually make tags out of these. So don't throw those away. And then um, we'll go ahead and score this at five and a half. Okay. There we go. Okay. that's. We'll set this aside for one. And let's see. If I do it like this, I'll look at that later. Okay, so for the second one, this what we're going to do again is we're going to score it. Whoops, we'll score it at two and a half, and or excuse me, at half an inch, and then at three and a half, and then we'll cut two inches off. Okay, set that aside now, and then we're going to score it again. So. What we're going to do, I, if you notice that when I scored this one here, I scored it with the top facing to the left side. I'm turning it around, having the top facing to the right side and scoring it at five and a half. That way when I fold over, let's see, one of them is going to, are both of them? No. One of them will be upside down. So when one of them is upside down, then I go ahead and use the other side. Okay? Perfect. So that's what we're going to do. Now we're done for this for now. Keep your bone folder. Okay, so what we'll do is fold and burnish your score lines. Okay, let's open this up. Now, this is the one, this is the one I'm going to use that in the outside. So I'm going to fold this inside and let's burnish this. Oops, get this out of the way. I hope everyone is doing well today. As I'm recording this, Valentine's about two weeks away. So I know every a lot of the um, crafters have already started with the, with creating Valentine's. Um, I was in the middle creating other videos. Um, and I wanted to get that out, but at least we have two weeks and this is so quick and easy. You can actually mass make these in like one weekend. Okay, so now what you're going to do is we are going to cut this here. Okay, so if you can see that we're gonna cut this part here and I'll do it on this side. All this is going to go, actually, I shouldn't have scratched up, but I'll use the other side because you can, um, you can actually use this up, use this part as decoration as well. Okay, so let's get your scissors. If you have a longer scissor, it's actually easy to do it that way because you can cut it up in one, one notch. Okay, there we go. Now these I intend to give, because I did make a few, these I intend to give to the ladies at um, 
my accounting office because, you know, tax season is right around the corner. So I've got to get all my stuff there. Save these two. Okay, don't, don't get rid of those. Okay, and do the same thing for this here. Now remember, um, it's the one that folds up that you're going to... Oh, no, 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 it's not, it's not. Okay, so I screwed up and I'm going to show you how to fix this, okay? So you're supposed to cut the top, okay? So the top of the one, because when you fold the, the flaps in, it goes up. But what we can do with this one here is that since since i screwed up here i'm gonna mark a line okay on both sides and then i know that i cut and i'm gonna cut a little bit below that line okay so no one will see okay and we're gonna do the same thing as for here so yeah there's always ways of fixing things so don't give up or throw away um, your paper. There's, there's always ways of fixing things. And then if you do see any pencil mark, just go ahead and erase them, okay? So yes, glad. actually I'm glad I did that because, you know, sometimes I have to show you how to um, fix mistakes. And you know, we're all humans. We don't tend to make mistakes here. Okay, so I'm going to cut this side and we'll cut here and let's cut this part out off. Well, anyways, I intend to give this to the ladies at my um, um, accounting office for taxes. But you know what? You can give this to co-workers. Uh, you can give this to... You can actually just start maybe passing this out. Maybe the people at the post office or maybe the, um, get your glue as I'm yapping here. Okay, we're going to put glue here on the side. Or maybe make this for um, folks at the nursing home or, or teachers. Give it as like a little teacher's gift. This is actually great to make with your kids. Oh, I forgot to do one thing again. Oh my God, this is I think the, the accident prone one over here. So I wanted to show you. Before we continue to glue, what we're going to do is get our hole punch and we're gonna create a notch in the middle. Okay, now what I do is I make sure that this side and this side is the middle and then if I want to, you know, hit the bottom over there, or, or maybe just halfway. Let's try halfway. There we go. And also, if you want to create a notch um, here, it makes it easier for them to, for the recipient to know that, hey, there's maybe something inside there. So you can use a half, a circle, or you can use the bottle. I know I was going to use the half inch circle, but you know what? I'm spoiled for choices here. So, yeah. Create a little notch there, and there we go. Oh, by the way, I used a one and three eighths uh, circle punch. Okay, now we're going to glue. Who else can you give it to? Who would you give this to? Oh my God, there we go. And I always use my finger. One of these days I'm going to create a video where it shows the basic tools needed for crafting, for paper crafting. I've been doing this for years. And so, yeah, I have a lot of, you know, specialty tools when it comes to the trade. But just because I have it and I use it doesn't mean that you cannot create it if you're a beginner. Or actually, if you just, just don't intend to craft or paper craft all you want to do is for you know a little while let's see if i can get this in here well 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 maybe i can show you instead you know how to do it this way so i'm gonna hold that steady make sure it's in the middle those two are it. there we go and then take my put that aside take my little scissors here 
and go ahead and okay can i get it maybe i'm gonna go this way there we go and come out yes perfect perfect and take my nails put that can i get that notch out let's see oh let's hope so maybe i'll cut a little bit more here yeah all right there we go perfect and if you still see pencil marks just go ahead and erase them but that is how you create the notch without using a circle punch okay now okay and like i showed you that there are not in this one what was this one? nope not that one either here we go so there are little cards over here so i went ahead and i cut these cards out and I'm going to go ahead, you know what, and even if these cards are bigger, which that was from another sheet, you can still cut them down and use it. Oh, that would be cute. XOXO, yeah, the theme. I'm going to use it for there. And let's see. Oh, this would be adorable. Oh, this would be so, so cute. Oh, happy Valentine's Day. Yeah, just keep it simple. Keep it simple. Happy Valentine's Day. Okay, I'm going to use that since it is for Valentine's. But just know you don't have to. Now, I do see that it is a little bit bigger, so I'm going to cut these down and um, glue them on, okay? Let's see. This is three inches, so I'll cut this at, let's see. Can I cut it at three? No, I'll cut this at three and a fourth. It'll still have a small border. I, honestly, I still save these two just in case I use that. So I cut that at three and then, um, excuse me, I cut that at two and three fourths. And this one I'm cutting at two and a half. It did cut off my little flower there, but I'm going to remedy that pretty quickly. Okay, and let's see. This is a four. Let me see if I can cut this. No, I'll cut this at three and three fourths just to make it centered. And then I will cut this at three and a half. Okay, perfect, perfect. Alrighty, so that's that one there. And let's do the same for this here. So that's at three, so I'll do it two and three fourths. Okay, and this is at two and a half. And this one here is at a fourth. So I'm going to show you something a little bit differently. I'm actually going to cut the top. Let me cut the top first. This is at four, three and three fourths. Okay. But I'm not going to cut the bottom. I'm going to show you something a little bit different. It'll look really, really nice. Okay, so let's set this aside. Okay. Now, this one I decided to do, yes, and this looks a little bit too busy. Even though it'll go, it'll still look a little bit too busy. Okay, so if you have a corner punch, go ahead and use it. I'm actually going to do it for, which one look nice? I'm going to do it for this, and I'm going to keep this straight, okay? So let's go ahead and add our corner punch here and I'll do the same for this card as well these would actually look really nice if you um, like say for example the outside of this looks really really pretty so instead of putting anything there you can actually put a card in there or add another card in there you know that this is your little secret message this is what you want everybody to see happy Valentine's Day and then this is your little secret message that'll look cute Okay, I'm sorry, getting ahead of myself here. All right, so let's go ahead and glue this down. I hope everyone is doing well, and I really hope that you like what you see. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. That really helps my channel grow. And also, if you would like to see more videos that I have, um, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I would love you have you, I would love to have you join our small community here. Okay, that is there. And let's go here, put this there. Also, if you wanted to prop it up with um, 
Oh, and I haven't even shown you how to use this. This is actually makes it nice, quick, and easy, too. I have refills for that, so I'll have the link down below for those. Okay, so showed you I wanted to do something over here. So I'm going to lift this up just a little bit, but I'm centering it to the left and the right side, okay? Okay, now, before I go any further, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the... Um, ribbon on because I want this to dry and before I add anything else to it I want to already have the ribbon there because once you put things to embellish you need that dry time to do that so it's just best to go ahead and put your uh, ribbons on now now the twine what I like to do is tie the end so it will not unravel and I know I say this all the time but I'm going to still continue saying it. I just like that it creates these little tassels. Okay I just think it's cute. So let's go ahead and do that. Take your eyelash ribbon fold it in half and that's going to be a 12 inches. Okay and then take your ribbon your regular ribbon and what we'll do is we'll thread it through the hole so we'll go ahead and thread it through this okay and then what's a good idea especially when you have a lot of ribbons like this go ahead and get yourself a clip you can use a um, a paper clip Paper clip kind of gets stuck, and so I don't really do well, but a lot of people use paper clips, so that's why I'm saying it. And um, put the thread, or put the this through, the twine through, and tie it. You can use clothes hangers, clothes hangers, no, clothes pins, sorry, clothes pins, okay? Yes, so that's what we're, clothes pins are. Sorry, folks, I get ahead of myself sometimes. Okay, we can use these clips that I got at the Dollar Tree. Um, we can use clothes pins or paper clips or any kind of clips that you have available. Um, and then at the end, this is still open. Oops, sorry. This is still open, so I'm going to go ahead and cut that that off okay so what I'm going to do is off camera I'm going to add the ribbon to this one and I'm going to put this underneath uh, some books so we could dry and then uh, we'll work on on the cards in the meantime but for now we're going to set this aside and we'll work on the cards okay okay folks and now I'm back so what we're going to do is these cards right here now the cards that I made are three by four inches so we're going to cut this down to two and three fourths across this way that way when we put our chocolate in or whatever kind of treats you want to put in it'll still fit inside the card okay so we're gonna just trim it at portrait at two and three fourths for each card got my trimmer here it is can you see that can you see that okay see so three Two, no, not two and a half. I think two and a half is way too... Is it two? Let's see. Let's just see. Oh, that's right. This is scraps. Put all the scraps on one side here. You see all the scraps I have? You don't. I'll show it to you in a minute. Okay, let's see. Two and three fourths. Okay, there we go. Now, will this fit in? Yes, it will. Perfect. Okay, two and three fourths cut them on each side okay and yes and and do remember when you do cut it cut it on the open side and not the fold side heck and if you did cut it on the fold side don't worry about it it's fine you can use make these little tags okay so here we go let's go ahead and we're going to do one is going to be at the uh portrait size now if you want to take the time this here is directional and so if you want to the back is the back and so i don't think anybody's going to really see actually we don't need to make this one if you wanted to do left and right okay i'm sorry i'm overthinking here this is the easier one here so anyways what we're what we can do is work with that you can make it like this and you can actually cover this so that the other side is on the upright 
okay? If you want, well, you know what? Why don't we do that? Let's just cover it on the other side and see what happens. Or excuse me, a little mat to go with that. All right. Now I have a tendency to use uh, tick marks, if you will. And yes, that is a legitimate industry jargon, okay? And I just want it around an eighth of an inch border on each side. So what I'll do is I'll get my trimmer back out. Sorry for making it back and forth, but sometimes that's just crafting. Okay, so this card here is four inches. So what I'm doing, I will cut it at uh, three and three fourths. For those of you that are um, um, mathematically picky. Okay, sorry about that. And then this also, I switch, I turned it over. So this is also at the, the fourth inch mark. And I'm cutting this at two and a half. Uh, it's two and seven eighths. I wonder if that's going to be... Okay, let's just try it. Save this, of course. Okay. Oh, yes, perfect. I love it. I'm just going to erase that little tick mark of mine that I have. Or, guess what I'm going to do? No one's going to know that we ever have that because I'm going to use my corner punch. If I can find it, I will use it. Okay, folks, I'm back. Couldn't find the corner punch. Maybe that's the one that fell on the floor earlier, but I have this one here, and we're just going to use this one. Perfect. Okay. Well, let's say goodbye to that one, and no one can see our tick mark. All right, perfect. So let's go ahead and glue this down. If you feel that you're going to add more things inside the this tag, then I would cut this down to two and a half. Um, but we're not going to do that. We don't really, you know, need to. I just don't feel that we need to add more more things. But that's totally up to you. You know, it does re depend on the recipient. So there we go. Okay, and I'm going to bring this back. Set this aside, set that, and I'm going to get the sticker sheet. Now, this particular pack does come with the sticker sheet, and yes, 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 I have used it, as you can see. Can you see that? Let me go a little bit down. Okay, perfect. So, we are going to use the sticker sheet and falling in love. Oh, yes, that's always a joy, huh? Okay, falling in love. That would be nice there, or, oh, I like the contrast on that one, so... I'm gonna just tap it down a little bit and you'll see why. I'm gonna add some things underneath it. And so, oh, will this, oh, is this too big? Oh, when I teared it, darn it. No, it isn't. And no one will know that I tear it, tore it either. So, except for you guys, of course. Okay, oh, look how sweet and I love the contrast of that. That really stands out. And then falling in love, you can do it. You want to cover it. Falling in love, we can put it over here. Oh, no, I changed my mind on that one. But that turned out super, super cute. I love you. Oh, look at that. I know what to do with that one. So I'm not going to put it on this one here. So let's see. Let's get this one here. Oh, this is a cute one. That's a cute one right there. Oh, whoever has that is going to love that one. And that's a cute one right there. Oh, that's adorable. Oh, this is so spoiled for choices here. Which one would you use? You know what? I'm still going to go with the truck. I just love the truck. So here we go. Oh, we could put this. I wonder if we could put the truck in the bottom and then this here. Falling in love. Too much. And then just note that there's also some small little hearts here. So, yeah, I mean, you can go ahead and take advantage of that. But that would look so good. Now, I'm just going to do something else with this. Now is the perfect time to get our treats out. So I've got the treats here. And what I'm going to use is my um, tape runner. So I'm going to put this on the top and then stick this down. 
Sorry for shaking the table so much too. I really don't mean it. Okay, there's that one there. And let's put the tape runner here and then stick that down. That'll make it so quick, easy. If you wanna put like a little note in here, I would suggest that. And also we can do the same thing. Oh, oh and I did this upside down, shoot. <gasps> can I remedy this? Oh, people learn from my mistakes. Well, no, you know what I'm going to do? I am... Let me see if I can fix this. Okay, everyone, so let me show you what I did. So off camera, what I did was that when I had originally put the bike in, I didn't open it up. So this here was facing... Uh, or it was upside down and that's not what I wanted so what I wanted was it to face directional so what I did is I removed this bike sticker here from the back and I put it in to the front and because I had already uh, put this down I left it there and so if I wanted to put some kind of note I'll just put some kind of note uh, a small little note actually or just even use something a small little thing and write something um, totally up to you but as I did that when I pulled the bike up, the sticker was so strong, the adhesive was so strong that it pulled up a little bit of the paper. And so in the end, I ended up using the sticker here and it covered up my mistake, okay? So this one is fine and great, so yes. And at this point, if you wanna go ahead and put any kind of embellishment, you can go ahead and do so. For the inside, I am not going to do that. So next, what we're going to do is grab our tags back okay put that there and i'll have all of my scraps there grab my tags back and this is when you can go ahead and decide to embellish it so i'm going to grab my sticker again and i'm going to see what i can do for this one i saw the swag here so i thought it was cool but it's not going to work because or maybe if I decide to hide some of it, I can go ahead and do that. Oh, that'll look really adorable and cute. Hmm, what do you think? Can you see what I'm doing here? Yes, you can. Let's see, what else is in this that we can go ahead and use? Um, there. Oh, that's a cute one just to have it on its own. So I didn't see that. God, if I wanted to put it in the back like that, I can. You know what? Why not? I'm going to put this back here. Do you see that? That looks adorable. And I'm just gonna leave it like that too because I just think it's so, so sweet. Love it. Okay, happy Valentine's Day. All right, and on here, do I wanna add anything else? I can add the hearts. Oh. How about this? Oh, that's sweet. Put that sticker right there. Oh, you are my type. That is so cute. Here's another one that has, that is upside down. So we can go ahead and remedy that. Let's see. I can probably use, that's not going to be enough. Mm, still look cute though. That's the thing. Would this be too, oh, the kissing booth. Well, you know, you got to be careful who you're going to give this to too. But that's cute. You can actually make your own cards with this as well i'm just gonna leave it the way it is i just think this is adorable okay so putting away my stickers for now because i can go to town with this okay we're gonna go back to town sorry about that had to do it but i could put this here on the side do you see that cute 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 and let's add something for here oh here we go Here is a little uh, chocolate dip strawberry. Okay. All right. So let's glue our embellishments. You know, and before I glue them on, no, I'm not going to do it right now. I'm going to glue the embellishment onto the top here. I was going to put these inside first, um, but I'm going to have them on the side so you can see how it is. And can you see that? Let me get into frame here. Sometimes I get so excited, and sorry, folks, but I forget to get into frame. Okay. All right, let's see. We'll probably just add two of the 
sequence that I'm using and I got this sequence uh, again at the Dollar Tree and um, they did come in a pack of various colors um, so yeah that's why I'm using this up and of course super inexpensive uh, another thing that I use and I'll show you in a bit after I stick this down is a lot of people have been getting into diamond art and diamond art is fun. My cousin Debbie loves to do this and she tried to get me into it. But the reason why I haven't gotten that much into it is because I just like paper crafting. And so I have to pick and choose my battles here. Okay, my crafting battles. Okay, folks, well, there you have it. There's what we created today. We created two from actually one sheet and we were able to get a lot of use out of it and here's all of the others that i cre created as well see the look of more diamond art that i've been using over here so yeah thank you so much for joining me i hope you enjoy this video again if you did please 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 give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for some more videos coming soon okay and if I haven't told you this, happy Valentine's Day to everyone, no matter what day of the year it is. And always send love and kindness to the world. Thank you so much. And you have a great day. Bye-bye.